اهلا بكم في جولات وكولات ميت النهارده ليره خبيره الشاي هتاخدني على كل اماكن الشاي الشيقه اللي موجوده في لندن تعالوا معانا في الرحله في جولات واكولات ميكو So this is the first place on our tour and it's a very very special place okay. that um, has been opened just recently in uh, November and it's called Good and Proper And this is the owner Hello. of uh, Good and very Proper Very nice to meet you Emily nice Holmes to meet you. Yeah. Really nice to meet you. Hello welcome I don't drink coffee, shock horror, um, and I was very frustrated at the fact that I couldn't find uh, a good place to go for a cup of tea. When I went for a coffee with friends, I was always sitting there with my sort of floating bag. Yeah, a little bit underserved, I think. Um, my friend had this beautifully crafted flat white, and I couldn't understand why tea was so sort of, you know, an afterthought. Um, and usually better when you make it at home yourself, um, and you're paying for it, so it somehow didn't add up. Um, So I complained about it for a very long time, as you do, and then decided that I would be the one to do it. So I decided to create a space where you could get a really good cup of tea. Um, and it didn't actually start as anything more sophisticated than that. I thought just, you know, I'm pretty sure I can make a better cup of tea than everyone else. So I basically, um, decided to learn everything I could about tea. Um, so I spoke to lots and lots of people. I got, got in touch with lots of farms. I got lots of samples. This was a very long time ago. Um, I had actually lived in India as well, which I think played a little bit of a role yeah, in sure. like understanding the leaf. And you know, I knew where it came from. I understood the process. Um, and I eventually um, decided that I wanted to, you know, to could get going with it. I, I quit my job and I bought a van. Well, <laughs> um, I don't know if there's a, a postcard of the van just there, but I yeah, have a, a very old, is. very beautiful van. when someone walks into our shop is that we obviously know that most people don't know that much about tea most people might drink they might love tea but they only drink English breakfast or Earl Grey and so we've tried to you know obviously there's 26 teas which for most tea shops is hardly any most tea shops have 150 teas and obviously we could have gone on forever um, but we've tried to curate a collection that's kind of representative of their types so to kind of you know in a way it's kind of an introduction to tea of their family exactly Yeah. 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 So, you're going to have a silver needle, needle and you're having a ruby. Still okay yeah. with your ruby? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, would, I would like to try it. Um, so, I'll also tell, tell you. Tell me about white tea. I never heard anything about white tea. So, white tea is very highly prized. Silver needle is particularly famous. So, silver needle is. Um, so, if you, if you imagine that black tea is fully fermented or fully oxidized, green tea and white tea are not oxidized or fermented at all. So, oolong is semi fermented or semi oxidized. Um, I won't go into the detail of explaining exactly what that means, but you get like you know, super robust, super delicate, and then halfway in between where they've kind of semi-baked it. Yeah. Um, oh, I and the silver needle is not only um, not oxidized, it's the young buds. So it's, normally you pick two leaves in a bud, here you pick just the bud. So you've got these really lovely velvety downy hairs on the, on the bud. Um, and they're very young, and they're, so they're very delicate, very fresh, and they're only picked typically for around two weeks of the year, so they're very expensive. So, you know, this is really exciting that you're about to have a silver needle. Wow. Um, but this one we absolutely no, love, it's also it. delicious cold brewed. But yeah, and then these machines, you're probably wondering what the hell's going yeah. on. Um, yeah, it's so, the time I've seen it. Yeah, yeah. so in, in the van, we have always done it in glass teapots. Again, we've got to, it's very visual, this so you want so to be good. able to see the liquor. Oh, um, oh, that's like, why they call it white tea, because it's white. Yeah, and, it's, right. and, it's called, and they call oh, it wow. also a champagne of teas, yeah. because look, it has a very like champagne color. Yeah. 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 Mm. Wow. Yeah. So you guys How do you like it? No, it's good. I like it. Yeah. You guys don't put sugar in this stuff. No. It's good though. No. Yeah. This is super delicate, so it might be not your thing. Thank you. It's very No, no, actually, I really like it. So all your teas, you make it without sugar, apart from your breakfast. Well, we don't. I mean, you could put sugar in. We wouldn't yeah, stop yeah. putting sugar in. I know. You no, do no, what I like. Um, no, no, I know, but in general, I mean, like the culture of drinking the tea. It's, you don't do this. You no? I think you, 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 you spoil the taste. Yeah, but we, I mean, again, a really important part of getting a British tea that. drink into it is to let them do their thing. Well, so, yeah. I mean, if someone was to put it into an oolong, we might say, that, no, 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 that might not taste right. But if they want to have an asset and they want to put milk in, that's, we'll just, just let them do it. Just yeah. like they'll, you know, yeah. they need to do it their way, and it's so 
you know, there's no rules. Rules. No rules, yeah. Yeah, and that's very important. Nice. <laughs> And so if you look down here, it's actually all being run from a tablet. Um, so each tea has got a completely unique recipe. So okay. if you come in and ask for a silver needle, um, we, we dose the leaves and we press silver needle and we'll have done, you know, a million recipe tests on silver needle, you know, another time. And then we're always testing them. And then when you come in, it will do exactly what we tell it to. They had an amazing experience drinking tea without sugar. So it's unusual for me to do this, but I did it. It's amazing and it's much better than coffee. Mm. You hate coffee. <laughs> no, I don't hate coffee. I hate coffee. I just only drink tea. I yeah, but I don't hate coffee. Uh, hate is such a wrong, strong word. It is a strong word. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But We're not, it's coffee. not tea versus coffee. No, it's yeah. tea versus coffee. No, it's not tea and versus tea, coffee. And tea wins anyway. It's not tea versus yeah, okay. coffee. We, we know they're our friends. This is good. Uh, I used to work in the city okay. uh, as a compliance officer, like a financial compliance officer. And uh, then I moved to Quants Research. I was a Quants Research Analyst in a fund management company. And I didn't like the job at all. I, I, didn't, I, wasn't, I didn't like to be constrained in the office environment. And I, but I, was, I didn't know what to do. This was my education. I finished university. I have a university degree in finance. I did a lot of qualifications like CFA as well, chartered financial analyst. Um, but I didn't like it, but I didn't know what to do. I did a very interesting thing, which is very pragmatic and practical. <laughs> I decided, I read about this woman who does professional testing. And she's been doing it for 25 years, and I decided to go to see her. And she did the test. What she does, she looks at the fingertip, fingerprints. Uh, she looks at their facial features, the um, how like equal are you, you know, no and way. all these things. And then she gives you tests. She says, one minute you have, and you have this test to do. And she said tea, and I resonated with it straight away. I was like tea. She said yeah, because. You can do so many things with tea. It can be a drink with taste and aroma. It can be history. Yeah. It can be spiritual part and yeah. ceremonial and ritual. It's so many things that you can actually do with do. tea. And it suited me so much. So straight away after I came back to see her, I started reading about tea, I watching the videos, reading the books about tea. I had no idea how to earn money with it. I had, had no idea how to make business out of it completely. And I went to China, I went to visit all the tea plantations and um, I read lots of things. And the deeper I went into it, I realized that you can go as deep as you can. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound. I really wanted to take it to this place, particularly because of their concept. As I said, any place on my tour, all the places, they have a very deep concept, much a deeper idea than just serving nice tea and coffee. Okay, so, me something interesting about them. So something is interesting about them and something like preserving their, their kind of a way of serving tea, like the next place that we are going to, or preserving the culture, or making the tea available to everyone. So different things, yeah? So this one is a charity. It's a non-profit organization called Paper and Cup. Wow. And the charity itself is 50 years old, but the cafe is three years old. And what they do is every, all the profits that they earn here, they go to support charity. like homeless people and um, a charity, charity, anybody. Charity. Yeah. So anybody in need? Not anybody. I think it's um, there is people a specific out of work, organization. unemployed okay. people, um, and also the extra addicts, the people coming out of the drug addiction. Like they finish so rehab, they helping them like this, to okay. come back to the normal life. It's so it's not just a tea shop. I feel it's more of community. Yes, it's it like is. This, you yes, know. you got it right. My tour idea was born here. Okay. Because I had a really long tour, historical tour, which we finished at the tea smiths uh, in the Spitterfields that is which now I'm closed. I'm quite jealous of you, yeah, for yeah. your tour. I think, guys, she's taking me for a tea tour in London only when she had her tour around the world. 
you went to China, to India, to all the tea places. Yeah. And I'm just like very local. I'm a London boy. No. She's an international girl. Well. It's <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Then when the place has closed, I was shocked to find out where, where do I take people now. So I did the research and I found this space and I came here to inquire, can I start the tour here? Can I kind of like do the tour? Can I do the tea tasting here? Mm. And they were really helpful. And suddenly all the people who were sitting here, like customers, they were like, oh, are you doing the tea tours? Oh, you should check this place and you should go there and you should do this and you wow. should try this tea. And I was like, wow, there are so many tea places here. Maybe I should just do a separate tea tour in Shoreditch about the amazing tea places okay. that serve a really good tea. And the more you drink, because all the, all the teas that we drank are quite high in caffeine okay. at the moment, so you'll probably be high by the end of this tour. I'm high all the time. Yeah, I'm already high. No, a lot of people <laughs> say like, you know, they, they, what do you drink, what do you drink? And it seemed to me like, I knew it now, it's tea. I drink a lot of tea, like, and I'm always yeah. hyperactive, like, you know. Yeah, tea is amazing for that. And it makes you happy, and you go out, and you talk to people, and it gives you energy, and it's just like wow. the most amazing drink to, to have. Cheers to that. Yeah. which is unheard of in India. In the 1950s, there were almost 300, 400 of them. Now it's only 30 left. So that's why they, they kind of like decided to preserve the Bombay cafe culture, but in London. So there is a black tea that is brewed with a boiled, like a brewed for 20 minutes okay. with cardamom, black pepper, what? ginger, Ooh. cloves. Sometimes they put anise there as well, okay. but star anise, but this, I don't think there is one in here. And then they brew it for 20 minutes and then for another five minutes they add milk and sugar to it. So, and then you have this drink. Let's try it. Let's try in time. Yeah. It smells nice like rice. Very sweet. I actually really like it. Yeah? You really like it. I thought so. I, I thought really it would like be it. your favorite. Uh, um, it probably reminds you of home as well. It's, it's very similar to what we do at home. It's the only thing maybe missing is we don't put black pepper because this is too much. And ginger you put? Ginger, yeah, we put ginger, yeah. but not with the milk. Okay. Yeah. And we don't put cardamom. In Egypt, they don't. No? But Dubai. All of um, Iraq, all of these kind of Asian Arabic countries, they might have the car because they're close to all of the yeah, area. Yeah. With you know, mm. it's nice. It's delicious. Yeah. When she saw me, she said to me, "You know what? I'm making five, six teas for you, and I know which tea you're gonna like. You're gonna like this tea." And literally, she's absolutely right. It's one of my favorite now. And I'll come again. The only thing I can say is thank you so much. I need to yeah. finish my... Why are you looking? Look 
look at this beautiful space. Yeah, amazing. amazing. And this is the owner, the Stanley. Um, as I said, you know, you have the taste, and he has the taste natural, natural taste for things. Yeah. So. Yeah, Africans. Where are you from? South Africa. South I'm from Egypt. Top of the continent. North and South. Yeah, ah, South big, yeah. South yeah. we look at together London. in London. Like wow, exactly. amazing. So yeah, so for me, just watching Stanley making flowers is like a meditation. She was saying to me, I just sit down like this and I watch Stanley so relaxing while he's doing it. It's, he's and so nice. Made with love, no? Just make it with love. So, yeah, out of heart. And with the tea, it's exactly the same. Tea made with love and tea that gives you this kind of like a feeling of love and joy. So special tea, they make here a special tea for this. Very special. Very yeah. special. You yeah. see. You know, I'm from Nihat. I'm doing something special. Do a tea. She was gonna do like a surprise in the store for me. She's been telling me about all day, and today it's even more special because she's the one who's gonna make the tea. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Please. So the tea that we are going to brew here today is the Kabusecha Japanese green tea um, by Chiki Tea. Chiki Tea is the girl that uh, provides it for us okay. here. And why I like her, I told you when, when while we were walking, is yeah. because she chooses the farmers um, on the factor, on the basis that they are gotcha. doing it from the out of love. And this whole space is, again, it's all about love, it's all about joy, it's all about inspiration. And um, when you do something well. out of love, yeah. everything will taste differently, yeah. everything will smell differently. You will have a different state of, of, of being, like a joy, inspiration. Things are and always different when they made one. Yeah, completely. exactly. Well, I hope you will love this tea. So Kabusecha is the Japanese green tea that is shaded from the sun for two weeks before the harvest. And that's what makes it really green, really small leaves, and makes um, a lot of um, amino acids, caffeine and antioxidants all just like burst into these little leaves, into this tea. Oh. So this is the, the tea, and it's, look how green it is. Wow, how it's amazing like a it, Yeah. Mm. Taste oh, it. Oh, wow. Yeah? Wow. You will love it. Wow. I really hope you will love it. No, I know, I know. Yeah, so I will yeah. make it. I never regret the leaves, so I make it really strong usually. Wow. And the temperature is usually 65, 70 degrees, but because I already measured it in the kettle. So the water has to be specific as well, 60 or 70. Yeah. So it's not boiling because boiling is 100. Yeah, yeah. So you have to make it just a little bit before boiling. Yes. Okay. Yeah. And then Japanese do it in a different way, but here the teapots are bigger. We are doing it chikyu tea way. Okay. It's her own way, bigger teapots. And then you pour it like after one minute into the another teapot and then you brew it out. So. Let's see what's going to happen. So it's all about trial, yeah? This is where they find. Yeah. Because, you know, like, how did they know how many time they need to wait, how long they need to wait, you know, like, what ingredients to use, the temperature of water, so much calculation. It doesn't come easy. No. It's not just a tea. No. So how do you find out all of this? Trial and error. It's usually trial and error. Okay. Look at the color of the team. It's completely different from what we had before. Yeah. We had white tea, and we had yellowy tea, which yeah. is the one I had before. Yeah. I wanted to tell you that's so yellow. Yeah. Now it's so green. Yeah. Konnichiwa. Mm -hmm. And uh, arigato gozaimasu. Doidashitemashite. <laughs> Doidashitemashite. Okay. Help yourself. Uh, guys, help yourself. If you don't want to help yourself, I can help you. But come after the program. <laughs> Thank you. Hands together. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers to all of you, Cheers. to the community, to, to everybody. Mm. To the future. Okay. Mm. Mm. Uh, we make a new tradition mm. for green, uh, for Shorda uh, Khan Shor's tea. <laughs> I, uh, I totally forgot the name. Like, what would you want me to do? Kabuchecha. Kabuchecha. So, it's like a cup of tea for you, like Kabuchecha. 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 Let's 
prepare all the teas yeah. I had today. Um, the first one was nice. I love the fact that it was white. It's just I love the fact. I don't yeah. know why. Yeah. Um, the second one was okay. Dark or long tea. Yeah, dark or long. It was nice. Yeah. Um, the other one I wasn't too sure, but still nice. Yeah. Like it confused me a bit. The paper and cup and because like you know I always drink my tea with milk. Yeah. And I avoid green tea. I try to avoid green tea because lately I find it bitter. Yeah. When yeah. I try the green tea, yeah. it leaves the drying, some kind of mm. dryness mm. in my mouth that I feel like, I don't know, I, I, I like green tea, don't get me wrong, yeah. I love green tea yeah. so much. But I don't like the aftertaste. Yeah. With this, I, there is no aftertaste. There is a sweet aftertaste, it, the floral one. Exactly, it's still healthy, mm. it's still nice, it's still beautiful. I wish you guys can be able to try all of this, but you can if you, you find can, it, yeah. but not with us. Yeah. This is the only thing I have to apologize about, that you cannot try it with us. But well, and actually, this is going to be the only place, I think, I mean, from what I know, that is going to serve Kabusecha tea, Japanese one, in oh, London. Wow. Because I don't know any other space where you can, a tea house, where you can go and, and do it. And look at the color. For me, it's just... I'm sure there is nobody. It's like a scholar for me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. وانا قلت له بص هستني خليني بقى اظبط لك المكان عشان انا حاسس ان الديكور بتاعه مش اي كلام اي كلام فعلي ميكو اتفضل وانا جاي اتفضل بصراحه ربنا يستر بس على طول ولا لا فانا قلت له هكتب لك اسمك بالعربي وبالانجليزي قال لي يعني هو ما يعرفش الانجليزي يلا يا ميكو يا جدع وطبعا عامل له حته بقى حته بقى من بتوع زمان بقى مش اي حد يفهم عامل له تريك مش هيعرف يجيبها مش حد يقول له حاجه فاكرين فاكرين يا حلوين اوكي استني بالعربي استني استني كمان شويه <تصفيق> استني الله عليك اديك واحد في بقى في الحنينه يا برنس ده انت حلو اديك واحده انجليزي اصبر Let's make a flower so the guy be happy. Wow. And the flower normally looks like that. وهنا في الفرع ده هعمل له كوبايه شاي. اوعى يبقى ورده كوبايه شاي. انا هطلع جدع ومش هاخد منهم فلوس. بحبك يا استاذي وبحبك يا استاذي. اي خدعه. تصوير كاميرامان شاكيل اوديو ان ساوند اكس ان اس مروان انتاج وبرودكشن وكل حاجه من الاخر حزم عقيله عيب قوي يا ميكو تسقط المونتير اخس يحيى محمود <تصفيق>